Hi guys, just wanted to talk about a few changes that the next version of FXGL is going to have. And well, first of all, I'll start with the menus and how some of the stuff has been updated. So if you look at the top, then we have um, this title. So whatever you type into um, whatever you set the title to be is going to be captured in here and the first character is going to be um well disappearing like this it's kind of like neon style from i don't know kind of um futuristic games perhaps i know i think i've seen something like that in fallout um series and this is actually done by uh perlin noise one dimensional perlin noise um, which gives us random values which are not uniform and so you can get really cool lighting effects then we have a particle system which is now completely um, decoupled from the entity component model which means we don't need to have a game world in which we um, or basically we don't need game world to have a functioning particle system and so um, right here you can see just below the title um, kind of wave of um, particles which create this kind of effect which is, um, it looks really nice uh, and then we obviously have the cloud or the smoke effect which is coming from the bottom of the window and that is also the particle system is now going full speed we also have um, new buttons or new buttons there for the menu only so you can get this nice effect which is um, well this effect has been inspired by the main menu from um, Dragon Age Inquisition which is uh, something like quite like this kind of yellowy uh, golden kind of um shade almost on these um on this polygon which is on top of um buttons it only appears when you hover um over these menu items so when you click on um say controls well you already seen this before so it's not new and i don't think there's anything else that is new in the menus so yeah, it's visually uh, it's been visually upgraded so to speak next we have uh something that's been asked by um, several people which is the polygonal object import from the tiled um, editor which is currently you can see um, here in black so this is a polygon this is an actual object and it's been properly parsed into a polygonal shape so that means the physics engine is now working properly with the shape and the object although the view is um, still probably wrong yeah so the view doesn't record this being a polygonal object because it doesn't actually deal with polygons it only deals with um, rectangles so this will be fixed at some point but the actual uh, logic and the model still um, works and yeah this is just simple level um, that i use to test various things it's kind of mario like level and um i don't remember in one of these versions um, these virtual controller buttons were introduced that i didn't really talk about so these are essentially for mobiles and for mobile screens because you don't have um, keyboards on them and you can kind of click on them to basically control the character okay and one last thing to mention is fonts we now have or settings in general 
we now have four types of fonts and the first one is the standard ui so which is at the very top this is what you use for any ui object and if you used the ui factory to create an object then it will use this font then we've got uh, the game font which is going to be used primarily for the game world obviously all of these fonts can be changed they're just defaults provided by fxgl and you can set them to whatever um, font you want them to be so yeah this is going to be the game font this is a mono font which is for things like scripts i suppose and then we have text font which is for large chunks of text so it makes it easier to read and these are now can be easily set from the settings so you don't actually need to create uh, dot properties files anymore um, because it was a really convoluted process that we had before and now it's changing into you just set settings you call settings dot set uh, ui font or something along those lines and this will all be coming in um, the next version which is 0 0.5.3 yeah i think it is yes um and will be released quite soon so you can enjoy all this stuff very soon i would say all right so this is it for this video and thanks for watching